All right, so this was uh, February 22nd, 2020, and the conditions were about anywhere from 25 to 36 knots. It was about 60 degrees out. There was head high waves, and as you can see, I'm wearing a full wetsuit. And uh, here's uh, my start here, jumped on the board. And the first thing I happens to me is I get tripped up by a shore break wave. Bam, there I go, flying right in. But there was really good waves. And here's a nice one, a little cutback, smack the lip and come back around. Uh, the GoPro kind of minimizes the size of these things and you really can't get a good feel for it, but they were definitely overhead this day. Here's a nice turn inside this big one here. Uh, that looks small, but man, that thing was big. <laughs> and uh, a lot of white water, as you can see. But it was a pretty good day. Uh, excellent conditions in Delray. As you can see, the waves were you know, kicking. And uh, check this out. This is coming through the shore break. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of white water. And uh, that in itself is uh, an ordeal. But it was sporty that day. And here's a nice little wave here You're coming over it. And I think I got a good turnaround on one of these here. Yeah, here it comes right here. <clears throat> yep. And as you can see, you know, a lot of white water, a lot of waves coming in. Definitely not for the uh, beginner. So this is what it's like when you crash in a mid-break and then get worked by about two or three waves. So as you can see, you need to be able to hold your breath for at least 30 seconds underwater. And don't panic because you don't want to suck in that uh, foam. And, you know, bam, there we are. All right. So anyway, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on kite surfing.